I've wondered, Steve, if we look out not a thousand years, which seems like a very long period of time, but a billion years or 10 billion years, what possibly can we say about the future of intelligence, our intelligence or extraterrestrial intelligence in the universe? Well, I think what you need to take account of here is cultural evolution. Uh, when you talk about cosmic evolution, astronomers uh, normally talk about astronomical evolution of the physical universe. Biologists talk about biological evolution uh, of organisms, including ourselves. Uh, but there's also cultural evolution. And if, you know, cultural evolution is really the thing that dominates that whole equation because cultural evolution occurs much more quickly than any of the others. Mm -hmm. If you look back 10,000 years uh, on Earth, uh, human biology wasn't any different, but if, uh, if, if you look at culture, culture over the last 10,000 years certainly has changed. Uh, we are certainly much more advanced in terms of culture than we were 10,000 years ago. So uh, I think that the dominating part of that equation is cultural evolution, and you have to ask yourself if extraterrestrials exist for thousands or millions or billions of years as technological civilizations, where would they be uh, at that point? And, um, or where will we be at that point? Or where will we be? And of course, it's extremely difficult to say. We can't make any predictions, although there's a lot of uh, work being done now on cultural evolution on the Earth. Um, there's no really robust theory of cultural evolution in the same way that there's a theory of uh, natural selection for, for biology. So when you talk about uh, you know, the, the future of life on Earth, you certainly cannot predict it. Um, and when you, even less so when you talk about the future of intelligence uh, uh, outside of the Earth. But I do think that, um, uh, that you can address the question in some ways. And one way that I've addressed it is, you know, there are, there are many ways that extraterrestrial intelligence can evolve, uh, taking into account uh, what's happening now on the Earth. Uh, we have, uh, you know, nanotechnology, we have space exploration, we have all kinds of things going on, but which direction is cultural evolution going to go? Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. If we look at the current developments on the Earth, you have biotechnology, you have nanotechnology, you have artificial intelligence, all that sort of thing. So you can't tell on Earth which direction evolution is going to go, and certainly you can't tell uh, for extraterrestrials which direction it's going to go. But I think if you seriously consider that question, that the dominating factor, no matter what you consider, is intelligence. And that's why I have uh, enunciated what I call the intelligence principle, and that is that any society or any civilization that can improve its intelligence will improve its intelligence. Um, I think you see that on, on, on Earth in terms of knowledge, at least, that people are constantly striving to improve their knowledge. And I think that on Earth, when we can improve intelligence, we will improve intelligence. And that's what gets into the whole artificial intelligence debate. Of course, there are some people on, you know, who think that, uh, that we won't be able to make um, machines that are more intelligent than we are. That's a very interesting debate. Uh, but there are other people like Hans Moravec, for example, at Carnegie Mellon, or Ray Kurzweil, who think that the singularity is near. Okay. And at the time, singularity being defined as the time when uh, machine intelligence will become more intelligent than, than humans. Um, so uh, there is uh, that debate about, the, uh, about strong artificial intelligence. If you believe in strong artificial intelligence and that uh, in principle there can be intelligences greater than humans, uh, then uh, you apply that to extraterrestrials, uh, I think what you end up with is not a biological universe but a post-biological universe. In other words, given the vast time scales of life in the universe, it could be, there could be civilizations millions or billions of years old that the, the, uh, they would have, in the course of their evolution, built intelligent machines and let go of the biological bodies. So what we may have out there are a lot of intelligent machines. And um, a lot of people don't seem to like that scenario. Machines have a bad rap you know, from movies like Terminator and that sort of thing. <laughs> But, um, but I think that it, it certainly uh, is a possibility, and it would affect the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. If you're looking for machine intelligence rather than, rather than uh, human or, or uh, biological intelligence. So you might see the far future of intelligence uh, in the universe, whether 
emerging from extraterrestrials or emerging only from ourselves as post-biological. And so we go a billion years in the future, you have a universe populated by machines. Doesn't seem to resonate <laughs> too happily with me. I don't know about you. Well, we do have to remember <clears throat> that we are using our current culture to project. And that's very dangerous, of course, because uh, you know, a thousand years from now, we might project something else. But I still always come back to the basic importance of intelligence. Uh, I don't see what can be more important than intelligence. I mean, in the, you, you, of course, people can say, well, intelligence isn't the most important thing on Earth, that, that emotions are and love and things like that. But uh, I don't know how, that, how you can improve that uh, you know, as you can intelligence. It's, uh, intelligence is a more concrete thing, even though it is somewhat elusive itself. Uh, but uh, I, I do think that uh, you have to take into account these long time scales. And when the SETI people, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence people, uh, look for extraterrestrials, they're sort of projecting us, ourselves, just a more advanced form of ourselves out there into the universe. And I think they're not taking cultural evolution into account. Uh, now, uh, the, the, the problem with that argument is that it may not be bold enough. That may seem a very bold <laughs> Uh, argument, but it may not be bold enough because you have to ask, well, what what comes after post biological intelligence? Maybe it's just uh, you know entirely a, a spirit or something <laughs> like that. So we do have to be careful with that. But the the main uh, point is that I do think we have to take somehow take cultural evolution into account uh, when we talk about the long term future of intelligence in the universe, and when we talk about searching for any such intelligence.